All right, welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute, but I'm back with another break. And for this one, we're going to mix it up with two different series. As you can see, I've got a mystery pack facing us. That's by Grosner Distribution Inc. Now that happened to be found at Shoppers Drug Mart. And this is the particular set that lies within there. As you can see, $1.29, 2015, 16, Upper Deck Series 2. Now that is definitely a bargain for $1.29. Of course, I'm going to pick those up. Now I managed to find six of those, and I just wanted to leave that in there for your curiosity. So there you are, the 2015, 16, Upper Deck Series 2 can be found in the bargain basement at Shoppers Drug Mart. Now here are the other five packs, which would equal six. We're going to leave those right at the back. And we're also going to open up six of these retail packs from the Gravity Bin at our good friends in Shoppers Drug Mart. So those are the two series. We're going to sort of have a mini battle. Who's going to win? 2020-21 Series 1 or 2015-16 Upper Deck Series 2. Let's go right to the hits. Oh, we've uh, managed to unpack a security bar there. A little beepy thing, but let's get right to it without further delay. Now this one looks like a, I think it's a portrait, but uh, if you've not seen this set before, let me go through the first pack and pronounce some names. Let's have a little fun. So we have Tanner Pearson, Zach Parisi. We have Evgeny Malkin. Boone Jenner, Ivan Provorov, Rasmus Ristolainen, Noel Achari, Noel Achari, and Austin Matthews upper deck portraits right there. And that's the back. A very funky design. One I'm not too fond of. But anyway, we're not going to nitpick or critique that. It's just a matter of what we will find in terms of these packs. So Pack number two, and you are going to be the the uh, ones who decide who is going to win or what series is going to win. Another beepy thing there, so we're two for two in terms of beepy things. Now, I think this might be a canvas. I believe it is, so let's just... Uh, Breeze right through these base cards. No need to pick and choose or pronounce. That is just going to log the time. So we have more. Uh, we have Brad Marchand upper deck canvas. So that's the hit number two in there. Put that off to the side, and let's carry on. So pack number three of the Gravity Bin upper deck series one. Three for three in terms of the security bars. The beepy thingies were three for three. Now this one is also a canvas. So let's just get, not canvas, sorry, it's a portrait. So let's get to the portraits. Now Max Patch are ready there. All right, and just to double check, these would be most likely base. And they are certainly base cards. And I'm going to add a little bit of commentary before we get to the series 2 2015-16 as to why I decided to pit these two series against each other. Another beepy thing so that's four for four and do we have a young gun in this one? Uh, maybe behind Braden Shen. No. I think this is an all base so let's just uh, Move them off to the side. For some reason they're sticking. Perhaps they were in a moist area or a little bit of uh, condensation. Condensation there. Because there's no need for 2021 cards to stick. They have not been stocked or shelved for quite some time. So that's my explanation for that. All right, so we do have a hit. This one looks like a Dazzlers. Could it be a Superstar? Who knows? Jonathan Huberto. And that's a very flashy blue there. So Jonathan Huberto 
Dazzler. So that's the fourth hit there, and we've got one more pack before we get to the 2015-16. Alright, no Young Guns so far, which is odd. And those were, oh, here we are, so save the excitement for last. Let's just uh, add some names. We have Zach Sanford, Blake Wheeler, Timo Meyer, Patrice Bergeron, Checklist 1-100, to Nathan McKinnon and Artemi Panarin. Tyler Myers, Kevin Fiala, and is it someone that I don't have? No, I don't think I have this one. Alexander Alexeyev. I'll have to double check. So 203. I think that's one of the cards I need. If so, that's a pretty cool hit. All right, so that's it for the Series 1 2021. Now let's get right to the 2015. And as I mentioned, I did have a little bit of commentary to add. Uh, this particular video is sort of serving as a, how would you say it, uh, paying homage to 5,000 views on the channel. Like I've now surpassed 6,000. I think I'm over 6,500 views in total. May not be a, a big deal for the larger channels because they generate as many views in one or couple videos and they're obviously have a fan base of a thousand two thousand or more so that explains the viewership but as um, a small channel such as my myself and others that i do follow i mean five thousand views is a big deal so why not pay homage and recognize that so five thousand views and growing it's going to get a lot more so why not 2015 16 because that's the year i decided to get back into the hobby because of connor mcdavid all right, so pack number one, can we obtain a young gun? Now, if you've not seen this set, let's do the same thing. We have got uh, Tivo Turvinen, Tobias Reeder, Michael Roffle, and we have an update, Mike Green. And that's the old peachy variety, so update number five, which is the subset, put that over there. Jamie Ben, Jaden Schwartz, Curtis Lazar, Michael Hutchinson. And that's the back there, so 442. Series 2. Alright, so base. Practically a base. Nothing too nothing too exciting for that, that pack. Let's move to pack number 2. And then you'll decide for me who the winner is. So let's go straight to the hits here. Uh, we've got a Portraits which would be Antoine Bibo, Rookie Portraits, that's hit number one. I wouldn't particularly call the update a hit, but let's just uh, roll through these in case there's a surprise card. There's a checklist there, Carey Price, Henrik Zetterberg, and then Brad Boyce. All right, so there we are. Let's move on to pack number number three. of 2015-16 Series 2. Obviously the, the Eichel year, now there's a young gun there. Let's just move that off to the side because the other series provided just one young gun. So I want to save a little bit of suspense there and we've got a Opeachy rookie card of Vincent Henestrosa. That's the back there so U27 in Estroza, and there we are. And we'll do the same thing. Let's just cycle through these. There might be a hidden gem. You just never know. Nope, nothing there. No excitement, no fireworks. And let's open up pack number four. As number five is off to the side and six is still in the package. Uh, okay, so that felt a little thick, and that's a young gun there. So two young guns for a dollar twenty-nine. Of course, that's a bargain. Just gonna open up that last pack there. That was uh, that was hidden or still packaged, and I'll open that, and we will reveal the last remaining young guns. So. Two young guns out of six packs is definitely a, 
odds breaker there and there's another young gun so three young guns out of six packs out of the series wow okay so maybe we'll have some fireworks let's uh start from here we've got mike green ryan murphy alex galchenyuk jerome mcginla ole mata connor murphy we have the checklist of carrie price and zetterberg and who do we have for the young gun it's number five, Carolina. Noah Hannafin. Not too bad there. So four ninety nine, Noah Hannafin. Young gun number one. All right. Who is young gun number two? Nathan McKinnon, Nick Bonino, Matt Bolesky, Evander Kane, Niall Yakupov. Mark Stone, Brad Richards, and we have, it's a Canuck, is it Brendan, Brendan Gauntz? It is, so Brendan Gauntz, there we are, number 481, young gun hit number two, now let's bring the last remaining young gun up and then decide, or you'll decide the winner. Mark Giordano, Milan Mahalik, Antoine Vermette, Connor Murphy, checklist again, Brad Boys, Milan Lucic with the Los Angeles Kings, and we have an Islander, I forget the names, Adam Pellick of the Islanders, so that's hit number three, 465. All right, let's do a really quick recap and then end the video. So beginning with 2021, we did have Alexander Alexeyev as the lone young gun. We had Dazzlers, the Dazzlers of Jonathan Huberdeau, Max Pacioretty portraits, Brad Marchand canvas, and Austin Matthews portraits. So against the 1516 Adam Pellick young guns, Brandon Gantz or Brendan Gantz. Young Guns, Noah Hannafin Young Guns, Vincent Henestroza Rookie Card, Antoine Bibo Upper Deck Portraits, and Mike Green. So, in my opinion, obviously, I'm leaning towards 2015-16 as the winner, based on the content. You decide. Let me know what you thought. Do you agree with me? Do you have a different opinion? Either way, I hope you enjoyed this break. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. And let me know what is good. I'll be back with a box break here very shortly, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, as always, I look forward to your comments and the dialogue. Till then, I'll see you at the next break. Till then, bye for now.